Greetings. I am Takur. Takur, oh, welcome. Max. How, How are, you? are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, Is there something you need from me? Yeah, I had a couple of uh, requests. Uh, one is, um, I was thinking that, uh, maybe I could collect a collection of uh, short pieces of non-poetry from different races. And in humanity, the, I guess one of the most popular pieces of uh, non-poetry is Ten Commandments, a short piece which defines, uh, defines uh, a lot about the, hu the, the human Western society. So I wonder oh. if you have something in, uh, in Liran which you could share with us. Um, it would be like a splice of history, perhaps? Possibly. Something that is, defines the race, you said. Yeah, it defines, yeah, it defines the culture, defines the race, yes. Well, there are certain things that I can think of, but I think that our, um, our final call to peace actually speaks about who we are now. There's uh -huh. many different... As sections of our history so you could pick a section and have a section of each one that would tell about each section of the history but the re most recent one that speaks to me is about the peace that we brought to our planets and to the uh, even those that are not with us anymore which means that remember when Lyra was destroyed Everybody went their separate ways, and some intermarried with other species, and others remained pure. But yet the peace, we, peace treaty we took amongst ourselves was that we would always be a unified group. And no matter where we were in the universe or galactic area, we would still be allies one with another and never uh, forsake one another. Uh -huh. so I believe that is the greatest thing that I can think of. Uh, and there is much written about that. So Actually, I, that's, that is the first time I heard about it. So very interested. Oh, well, we don't, we don't spread that around. That is sort of a personal thing between our species, uh, between us uh -huh. uh, as uh, a species. We are family. We feel like we are family and we feel that loyalty is important. So I could give you some of that. I would yes. have to, um, I don't remember the, all the wordings and things of that nature, but uh, I will look it up in just a moment. Uh -huh. And it may not translate into uh, English as well mm -hmm. as you might wish as well, but I can give it a shot. Okay. As they would say on your planet, uh -huh. give it a shot. I wondered what that actually means or where that came from. We were not able know. to find the origin of that. Yeah, I think it would be easy to, to trace, but um, I well, got another guess. Yeah, we yeah. Didn't really try that hard. But, all right, one moment, please. Welcome to all ears that are listening. We align ourselves with your hearts and your minds. Do not think that this is a time for... frivolous thought. We are here to bind ourselves together and bring unity to our species in a way that has never been done before. Although we have stretched out across many galaxies, we are still a family of Lyran peoples. Although we do not all look the same or agree in the same ideas on how to do things, how to dress, how to think, and what political aspects we should incur on ourselves and others, we are still 
of one loyalty and one family. As we move forward from this moment, we ask that you bring your temperament to the table, your confidence to each other, that we may assign our heart lights one to another and grow in this alliance beyond what any other species may have done. Not to say that we are better than anyone else, but to say that we have aligned ourselves in a way that is more gratifying to us as a peoples. We are, in fact, aware of our unfortunate and fortunate pasts because there has been great dismay and destruction. But out of that came great diversity and great acceptance of one another. Even as we are accepting one another today, and as we have accepted other species and other friendships from other places. Here we are united once again in a thought process of great understanding. Keep in mind that we are a great peoples and we have great intelligence and we have great gifts that we share with all peoples around the universe. And let us be known as a benevolent people, that there is no more war and only peace between us, and no more war and only peace between our allies and even our enemies. We now hold out our hands so that we take each other's hands in symbolizing a great circle of eternity. For we are eternal as a species, for we will not die out as God has promised. But we will endure all hardships together and all things that come against us. We will align ourselves in peace and tranquility, in honesty, virtue, character, and the things that we find most acceptable about us. Remember, we are fallible. We do have imperfections and we do make mistakes. But that does not mean that we should not forgive and that does not mean we should not train one another up to be more wise or enlightened. That our unconditional love, as it is needed by God, to grow between us in a way unfamiliar to other species. Thank you, and we wish you a great commission as we move forward in this thought process and this great unity that we find important and respectful and also necessary. This is the introduction to our alignment with one another. Thank you very much. Was it acceptable? Yes, absolutely. What did you think of it? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think, I think it's so profound, I shouldn't comment on that. Oh. I think it is valuable by uh, its historical significance, so I shouldn't provide any, any comment. I see. I was just thinking, I, I understand. You're, you're thinking that your opinion might soil it. I, I don't want to comment in one way or another. Suppose I praise it or find some imperfections in it. Either way, it would be just distortion. I don't want to distort it in any way. Very well. I understand that. Because the English translation might be not as perfect as the Lyran. No, the translation was just fine. I think it was uh, very clear what was meant at, at every point. Yes. Very well. Now, 
you said you wanted someone else to do this as well? Um, not at the moment, but in the future, yes. Uh, right now, my next question is that I feel that I didn't speak to, new, uh, to the new uh, aliens, angels, or spirits for a long time. It was always someone by invitation. So I wonder if you could recommend some uh, entities to, to meet. Who should I talk to? Like maybe you can outline a couple or three entities who would be interested in meeting me and I would meet with them. Interesting. Well, there are, you have not spoken to anyone from the Galactic Council yet, or government. That oh, that might, would be nice. Mm -hmm. What? That would be nice, yes. That might be something that you were in, would be interested in. They are very personable, yet because they have a customer service area, but you have to understand that they are very firm on their belief systems as well. But... Also, let's see. I do not believe you have talked to anyone in the Council of Nine. That would oh, be wow. a, another area that is some, somewhat important. And they are very high-functioning uh, and very active, whether you know that or not. But they do, re prefer to, main, to remain a little bit more anonymous about their activities. I see. Mm -hmm. But yet they do quite a bit of work for humanity and other species. There is also... Hmm, I would say... Well, those would, my be, would be two of my recommendations. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, did you like them? Yes, absolutely. All right. Which one would you prefer? Because I'm sure that you'll spend much time with either one. Uh, I would maybe start with half an hour each and then uh, we'll expand it later. All right. I will bring the Galactic Council first. I do not know who is going to speak for them, but I know that there are several ambassadors to different places from the Galactic Council to bring legal counsel to certain planets and species. Excellent. I will get someone for you. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good day, Max. Good day.